charges in motion constitute an electric current. Such currents occur naturally in many situations. Lightning is one such phenomenon in which charges flow from the clouds to the earth through the atmosphere. In this module, we will explore the reasons as to why charge flows through wires of electric circuits and the variables that affect the rate at which it flows. Let us now learn how an electric field can influence charge within a circuit as it moves from one location to another. The electric force acts over the distance separating the two objects. Electric force is an action at a distance force. A charged balloon can have an attractive effect upon an oppositely charged balloon even when they are not in contact. Action at a distance forces are sometimes referred to as field forces. These field forces exist due to electric field. An electric field due to positive and negative charge is shown here. Electric current. As a physical quantity, current is the rate at which charge flows past a point on a circuit. If the quantity of net charge Q passing through a cross section of wire in a time t can be measured, that is, I is equal to Q upon T, where I is the steady current flowing through the wire. Currents are not always steady and hence more generally, we define the current by taking delta Q, be the net charge, flowing across a cross section of a conductor during the time interval delta T. Then the current at time T across the cross section of the conductor is defined as I at time T is equivalent to limit delta T tends to zero, delta Q upon delta T. The SI unit of current is ampere, A. Ohm's law. Imagine a conductor through which a current I is flowing and let V be the potential difference between the ends of the conductor. Then Ohm's law states that 